female athlete is cried not because she lost the match from her opponent but she could not bear the punches of her opponent and she got beaten within 46 seconds by her this so called male like girl this may seems like weird that how can some uh, female athlete got beaten by a guy in an olympic match but as per the news and as per the reports this literally has there are other factors which involve and media is taking this to another angle there is a proper propaganda against the other opponent let's just unfold this whole story but before that if you are new to my channel subscribe my channel like my video and do write your comments at the end of the video so let's go Angela Kalini had a fight with Iman uh, Khalif uh, of Algeria uh, but she could not resist the fight after 46 seconds like she was done she could not bear the punches and she was like oh my god is this a female or a guy i could not bear it khalif who is a female uh, boxer from algeria uh in the past she also had such a incident in which she got disqualified of being look like a male or having some hormonal uh, imbalances body after falling an uh, unspecified gender eligibility test and her presence at the olympic uh, this year has become a device issue but this could not stop her from competing again in this olymp there is no such indication that she is a transgender uh, karini and khalifa had only few punches like she, there was a 30 seconds of fight in this game and uh, after that Karini uh, said that she could not fight uh, anymore because of the punches she is facing from Khalif. She was thinking and there is a manhood behind every punch she is facing so she decided to quit the match. Those punches were so extreme and so powerful that uh, Karini's headgear apparently became uh, uh, dislodged twice during this 30 seconds. Imagine how powerful those punches would be and once uh, Karini decided to uh, finish this match she, she did not shake hand with Khalif uh, when the decision was announced and she cried in the ring before leaving afterward a uh, uh, still tearful Karini said she quits because intense pain in her nose after the opening punches in her statement she said I felt a severe pain in my nose and the maturity of boxer I said enough because I could not finish the match Kirini also said that I'm a fighter. My father taught me to be a warrior. When I'm in the ring, I use that uh, mindset and the mindset of a warrior. A uh, winning mindset. A winning, a winning mindset. Kirini told that after abandoning the bout, this time I could not make it. Like she was done. She was done with after 30 seconds of punches and she could not bear uh, those punches and she said i did not lose tonight i just surrender with maturity karini also said that she is not here to decide whether khalif should be allowed to compete uh, but she has no problem with fighting her uh, she also said that uh, i'm not here to judge up or pass judgment uh, karini said if an athlete is, is this way and in that sense it is not right it is right it's up to me to decide whether i want to fight anymore or not I just did my boxing. Whereas Khalif, uh, who won a silver medal uh, in the International Boxing Association 2022 World Championship, the same governing body disqualifying her from the last year's uh, championship shortly before her gold medal match because of what it claims were elevated level of testosterone. Now just see what this game of testosterone is. You know, there are, there are a lot of talks about uh, this issue. So what the issue exactly is, DSD are a group of rare conditions involving genes, hormones and reproductive organs. Some people with DSDs are raised as female but have XY sex chromosomes and blood testosterone level in the male range. In other way, we can say that she is born as a female. She has every female organs inside her body. Uh, every part of her body shows she is female. But her blood level um, chromosomes and blood level hormone levels are more like or more close to males. You cannot call such person a transgender. You can say such person have high male or hormonal level than females. This is another athlete of Taiwan, uh, you think, uh, which have the same situation like the Khalif and they both uh, Khalif and uh, Lu Teng both were disqualified last year after they were competing for their medal match and so uh, this this thing is not new this thing ha hasn't raised uh, or uh, come up this year but it's been there for uh, I guess five to six years but this time Olympic Association uh, has allowed them to compete in their uh, competition. Lee also begins her uh, Paris uh, run on Friday uh, beating Uzbekistan uh, girl uh, in the very first round so this shows that these girls 
have some superpower that a beating shit of normal woman. Whereas Algerian Olympic Committee issued a statement on Wednesday condemning what it terms lies and ethical targeting and maligning of our esteemed athlete Imane Khalif with baseless propaganda from certain foreign media outlets. After this match, the Italian Prime Minister came into the action and she she take she took notice of such stuff that the Olympic Association on their statement said that uh, they don't uh, find her to be a trans transgender because uh, in her passport she is written as a woman. So there is no objection on her uh, from competing in women's fighting while having excess of uh, male hormones in her body. Uh, she seems more like a guy. She is giving the whole badass guy vibes, you know. Look at her. She looks more of a guy than a female so but since since this match there has been a debate and uh, people are uh, asking uh, Khalif to be uh, removed from uh, Olympics uh, and uh, she should, should be, people are saying that she should be disqualified from such events because she had more male hormones in her body than the normal woman it did have been done through some type of she could have been caught very initially but the issue is she facing is totally naturally that's why uh, Olympics Association has allowed her to compete uh, in this uh, event otherwise she would have been disqualified in the very beginning when there, when there are a lot of dope tests of uh, athletes well uh, you cannot punish a woman for uh, naturally having something that other women don't have uh, that's like saying oh she's too strong to be at this weight she's uh, knocking everybody out and we are going to put her in males uh, division it has to be some facts that make sense like it has to be it has to be something a uh, very uh, legitimate to ban someone well it would be very interesting if lin and khalifi fights together in a ring what would this fight be called uh, may female bout or uh, male hormonal excessive women's bout well both of these athletes uh, have the same issue both of them have x and y chromosome the typical male pattern of uh, hormones and the persons having these uh, hy chromosomes have naturally male hormonal testosterone more than the normal female so that's what's causing people uh, to make such issues. Well, our wishes are for Karini and make uh, we, we wish that her nose uh, gets uh, fixed very quickly uh, after this bout. And we hope that uh, she she somehow managed to get her hormonal uh, uh, testosterone level up so that she can beat uh, Iman in the next Olympic. Take care and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.